Watch you guys got another video here for you on how to turn off pop-up ads on Norton now I've been using Norton for about a year and three months and in the whole of that time I've not really been bombarded with pop-up ads from Norton but since I found out that Norton have merged with Avast and they've now uh, joined forces uh, lo and behold now the pop-ups are starting to pop up on my screen which is really annoying now this is one of many different pop-ups that I've been getting from Norton to upgrade or purchase something. Now the disappointing part of this is that for a whole year I never ever received a pop-up ad like this one but now I'm getting bombarded with these pop-up ads. So let's take a look at how we can get rid of them. Now this is a known uh, thing that Avast used to do with their uh, software but this is paid software. This is not free software. This is actually paid for, which I think is disgusting to bombard people with ad campaigns like this one. It's pretty aggressive. So you've got silent mode here, which you can enable. The downfall side of silent mode here on Norton is that you can only do it for up to one day at a time, and it will then revert back. So it's literally you're going to have to constantly do this. Now, this used to be a feature that they allowed you to enable and leave it on silent mode. But unfortunately, for Norton users, you now have to keep enabling this uh, silent mode. And people use this for, uh, you know, gaming and things like that. So let's take a look in advanced settings. Now, there is one particular one in here that I want to show you, but I'll show you some other areas in here which people... Uh, tend to uh, moan about which is the report card you can turn this off if you wish if you want more information you can click on the little question mark here and it will take you to an article explaining what these features do and how to disable them so you can read all about it here as you can see so the report card automatically displays all the activities that your Norton product performs each month so that is the report card there if you don't want that you can turn it off there's another area down here which we can take a look at as well. So let me just scroll down in these settings here so we can actually see uh, what else we can disable here. There's a Norton task notification here. You can have a look and read about that if you wish. I'm just going to turn that off as well. Now this next setting is the one that is causing all of the pop-ups that you're probably now seeing on Norton. If you're looking inside administrative uh, settings here and we pull down on the bar here you should see the special offer notifications this means that you're going to be opting in to all of the special offers that Norton have and let me tell you just lately there's been quite a few and they just constantly pop up and it's just sort of trying to coax you into paying for some of the deals that they've got going on or some of the extra features that you can uh, opt into by paying for an upgrade on your software and me personally, this is something that Avast used to do quite a bit on their free software. But to be honest, this is paid software and you shouldn't be going through this process with your paid customers. So that feature should be off by default for people that have paid for the software because this is paid antivirus software. This is not free. So the silent mode also needs to be for permanent. If you want to turn this on and this will definitely stop any pop-ups uh, this is what I used to do with Avast, put it in silent mode and you won't be notified of any prop ups or any sort of issues and it will be running in the background and it will deal with all the uh, detections and things like that. But you just won't be notified of any sort of adverts or anything like that in the background, especially when you're gaming because it can kick you out of game, which is very, very annoying. So if like me, you have seen lately from your Norton software a lot of pop ups then by all means, this is how you can stop them uh, popping up on your screen. If you've been getting a lot of pop-ups and you use Norton, let me know in the comments section below uh, whether you do use Norton or not. And to be honest, I'm pretty disappointed uh, with this sort of approach for paid software. In my opinion, you shouldn't be getting nag boxes or pop-ups coming up on your screen if you're using paid antivirus software. But now it all makes sense since they've merged with Avast. And to be honest, over the years, uh, Norton sort of lost flavor with a lot of people, especially if you grew up around, uh, you know, the earlier days when McAfee and Norton was forced upon you and used to get it on every magazine 
and it will be on every computer that you purchased and you had to uninstall it. And so many people got infected because they used to use trialware that only lasted a month or, or two months and then you'd have to pay and people would continue to use it without the definitions being downloaded. And I give them another chance. And to be honest, I really was impressed with their software. I used it for a whole year and I never received any pop-ups at all. But all of a sudden, I renewed my license uh, not long ago and now I've been bombarded with these pop-ups. And uh, to be honest, I'm losing a bit of faith with them and uh, I wish uh, that wasn't the case because that's one thing I can't stand is uh, advertisements when you're paying for something. You shouldn't be, um, you know, getting advertisements, pop-ups and things like that on paid software. You can do that on free software because you are the product. That's how they make money for their free software. But to do that for paid software, that's a big turn off for me. So let me know in the comment section below what antivirus software or suite that you're using. It needs a firewall in there as well. I do like Kaspersky and Bitdefender, but I'll be interested to know what ones that you guys are using in the comments section below. So let me know down there. Anyway, with that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I just want to say a big shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I appreciate the support and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now.